damn wrong. What's up, everybody? F Brock One hitting you with another video. Got a special surprise for you. Uh, I finally got my package from Belayed Sports, and most of y'all probably already know what it is. Um, as I told you before, man, I'm not really big on doing unboxings, but when it's something that is not common to our builds, I like to go ahead and um, put a video out just so you can see from a, a first person perspective on what I'm about to deal with. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to install this. This is a very um, important element to the vehicle dealing with fuel. So I'm going to have my, my guys over at RZG Motorsports do the install for me. Uh, I actually spoke to someone who's supposed to be very familiar with these vehicles, reached out to them. This person didn't get back with me, man. So I'm to the point where I'm really going to start not even entertaining some of these folks that are on IG that claim they're, you know, specialist or the expert in specific vehicles because obviously either a they don't really want to work with you to begin with or b they're just full of shit and you wouldn't want them working on your vehicle anyway so let's go ahead and open up this box see what we got to offer um and like i said just for those who weren't aware everybody is waiting on a, some sort of fuel support for the accord x so I just went out on the limb, Belayed put together this port injection kit, and I said, what the hell? Who knows if it's gonna allow me to make more power than I'm already making at this point, but at least I can uh, run a little bit more ethanol content, hopefully, and 93 octane, I'd rather ride around on my 93 octane tune uh, for like general purpose, everyday, daily driving anyway. Hopefully I can get a little bit more power. I'm telling you guys, I do not want to work with methanol. I, I just, you know, I'm over the methanol thing. I, I have all the components to my methanol kit. So if I wanted to do it, I could put it back in. And if worst case scenario, you know, I'm not getting what I thought I was going to get out of this port injection kit, I'll add that as additional additional fueling if that's even a thing and hopefully that'll allow me to run some good times at h day which i'll be doing this year so let's go ahead and cut this box open uh once again just like with the the uh hoses we're doing this together i haven't opened it you know it just came in today so let's see what's happening So I'm working with one hand, y'all. So bear with me. I'm just going to go over the components of the actual kit. And once I get my car dropped off, um, I guess as they're completing the install, I'll swing by and see how everything is going on. I'm not one of those guys who like to just sit up and hound somebody while they're working on your vehicle. Because as a mechanic, I'm pretty sure that pisses them off. And at the same time, when somebody is talking to you or even me just recording, it's a distraction. So usually I try to stay out of there while they're doing it. But of course, I want to get the major parts so you can experience this stuff with me as I'm going. Uh, so let's open up this first box. See what we got up in there. All right. So first box in the Blade uh, FK8 port injection kit. It's going to be some fuel hoses, it looks like. It has some um, connectors in there. We'll see how that ends up uh, being a part of the, the install a little bit later. All right, these look like, these look like the injectors. Uh, just to let you know, the injectors that come with this kit are uh, 1,050 cc. Uh, I noticed on their website that this kit is actually sold out as of right now. So the next kit you can buy is a 1,300 cc injector kit. 
which in my personal opinion, I think is too much for the Accord because we're not going to be pumping out. I'm sorry, guys. I know, especially for us 10-speed auto guys, until we get a stronger transmission, we're not going to be doing a 1,000 horsepower vehicles and stuff like that. Now, for the manuals, I still feel like the sky is the limit. All right, so the next thing, uh, which I probably, which I nine times out of 10, I'm not going to use, is comes with the, you know, the DW300C in tank low pressure fuel pump. I uh, already have this installed. I installed it like last year sometime. So this is either going to be a uh, just a standby part in case my low pressure fuel pump decides to die out on me, or who knows, might be a giveaway sometime in the future. I might have to think about that. I'm I'm really uh, over the giveaways because the giveaways truly are not matching the level of support I'm getting. So. I just might, I'm going to have to think about it, y'all. All right, so the next thing is going to be uh, the split-second injector controller. I've heard good and bad things about this, you know, uh, depending on who you're talking to. Some people say it sucks. Other folks from different car communities love it. So we'll have to see how this works out. I heard the directions are very straightforward. And I'm definitely going to read over it myself. And if there's some stuff I can put together before I take it to RZG, I'm most likely going to do it. But uh, it comes with the connector for the controller itself to, to hook it up to the laptop. This is the actual controller. Another argument about this is it's outdated technology. But I mean, it's for one, it's made in the USA, which is good. And if it's been working for several years with port injection setups, if it's not broke, why fix it? Yes, the, the upgraded high pressure fuel pump is good. Um, that is currently out for other vehicles. But sometimes you, you have to go back in time to find good solutions that will actually help you to get the, the outcome you're looking for. Uh, this is from Radium. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the fuel rail. Up. Yep. There it is. I'm not going to take it out, folks. I'm going to leave it as is just in case, you know, I don't want to mess something up. They package it very nice, so I think I'm going to leave it that way. So this is the main part of the kit, which goes in between the manifold and the block. You can see it comes with the, looks very nice. Let me take this thing out. All right. Looks very nice. Gaskets on there. The way it, it's gonna be set up is this will go in between the manifold and the block. You can see where the, uh, Injectors fire off into each cylinder. So with the port injection kit, you're getting an additional four injectors that, because it's running out of fuel and timing is getting pulled back, this is where the port injection kit is going to come into play. So I said I wasn't going to take everything out, but I just want to give you a layout of everything I have here. Everything uh, on the component list is here. I don't have anything missing. And, you know, just it's a waiting game now. I got everything that I wanted, and we're just going to have to see how it ends up working out. So here we go. There you have it, y'all. 
the Blade FK8 slash Accord X port injection fuel kit. As of right now, there's only a couple people that are, you know, attempting to do this. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it may or may, may not give me the results that I'm looking for. I don't know. But a part of taking your car to the next level is going to be testing things out with the possibility of failure. Either way, even if it doesn't give me the power goals that I, that I want it to give me, uh, at least we'll know whether or not it works. And as long as it works, I'm cool with that. And if it will allow me to run a little bit higher octane, more fuel without having to use M1, uh, I'm all for it, man. F Brock One, y'all. I appreciate you tuning in. I'm out.